The Ontario Long-Term Care Association has launched an initiative to connect qualified students directly with long-term care homes facing critical staffing shortages because of the COVID-19 breakout now, pandemic. Excuse me. Joining us this morning to tell us about how this will meet the needs of frontline long-term care workers and their vulnerable clients is Viesha Kubica, VP of Policy and Operations at the Ontario Long-Term Care Association. Viesha, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Hello, Viesha. Hello. There we go. Can you hear us now? I can. Can you hear me? Yes. Sorry, we're just having some technical difficulties there. It's, uh, it's an interesting time when it comes to technology with it, but it seems to be working. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. It is a, a difficult situation. We're hearing that horrific story out of Bob Cage and at Pinecrest, other uh, nursing facilities as well, facing similar situations. How are staff coping right now? Well, staff are coming together, uh, and that's part of what we're trying to do here. We've just launched a new platform. It's called Link to Long-Term Care. What it will do is it will link students from across the province with long-term care homes that need urgent help. Uh, as you've mentioned, COVID-19 is probably the biggest challenge many of us have faced during our lifetime, and uh, it may be the biggest challenge we'll ever face. Uh, but it's also an opportunity. It's an opportunity for us to come together and to show what we're capable of and to show that we care. And our students and colleges and universities are uniquely qualified to help us at this time. They are enrolled in health and social science programs because they feel a calling to help. They feel a calling to provide care. And this is the perfect opportunity for them to get involved. Our seniors have done so much for us. What would so they be doing uh, at the facilities? What would they be doing at the facilities? They will be working with, uh, under the supervision of the registered nurse, uh, they'll be working as part of the care team, but they'll be doing non-care related activities. So part of what we need to do right now is to focus the time, our precious healthcare resources, our healthcare workers, their time on direct care activities. So while they're doing that, our students will work in what we call a resident support aid role. And what they'll be doing is one-on-one -on -one visitation. Uh, they'll be helping uh, seniors Skype with their families. As you know, right now, we've had to restrict visitors uh, in long-term care homes because we want to prevent COVID from coming in. And that's, that's a big strain on families. That's a big strain on seniors who can't connect. And so having someone there who has the time to be able to help them Skype, help them FaceTime with family is, is really invaluable. And in addition to that, they'll be helping with other activities that the care team might, help, might need help with. So help with mealtime, maybe taking the resident for a walk around the home, uh, helping with uh, keeping the room the room clean and then helping with other infection prevention control measures within the home. How many uh, positions do you think there are? How many students do you think you need right now? I, I know uh, staff are testing positive for COVID-19. What, uh, what are the numbers? Well, certainly right now we just launched over the weekend and we have 38 uh, jobs open on the site. So we know the need is there, but we know from our homes that are facing uh, COVID positive cases that the need is great. Uh, you know, some staff need to self-isolate, some need to take time off to recover. Uh, and we could see a large number over the whole pandemic time. Uh, and we're estimating that could be up to half of our staff. And so the need is great. It's not all here right now, but we need to start onboarding staff. Some of them are now coming back to work, which is great. But as we move through the pandemic and as our enhanced infection prevention control measures keep uh, stay in place, we really need additional help. Do you think this will change how things are done in nursing, uh, nursing facilities uh, after the pandemic? Uh, I think, well, certainly our hope is uh, we were facing a pretty significant crisis in staffing before this. Uh, it's not just long-term care, it's common across the community. We face a shortage of personal support workers. The resident support aid role is something that a number of our homes were exploring already. I think this will give us an opportunity to show how it can work effectively in a home, how it can take the pressure off our care staff so they can have more time to care while our resident support aides help with other social activities and supporting residents directly. And uh, how can students apply for these jobs? And they will be paid for these uh, positions. How can they apply? 
That's right. It's a paid position. We've got 38 posted right now. They're across the province. The website is ltc.taswiz.com. You can go on. It's really easy. It's a very intuitive platform. It was uh, developed by Tazwiz, a startup out of the uh, uh, Seneca Helix Incubator Lab. Uh, we, uh, we've made it super easy. So you go on, you create a profile, you tell us what program you're in, uh, you tell us what year of the program you're in, you tell us what uh, uh, experience you might have in a healthcare setting, uh, in long-term care, maybe working with seniors, and then you are able to communicate right through the platform with a long-term care home that has a position available. And we're hoping that that make it really easy for us to onboard students into long-term care homes. So it's ltc.taswiz.com. And I want to thank you again for the time today. Okay. Oh, we appreciate everything you do. Uh, my mom was in a long-term care facility, and the and the the treatment from staff was incredible. Wonderful people at the work they do. And again, I think we're realizing coming out of this that we're starting to realize the great work that so many unsung heroes do. So it's appreciated. One quick question with the students. <laughs> will they be expected to stay in their area or will they will you want them to move to different regions? We're hoping that students are now back home in their community. So we're looking to pair them up with homes that are in their community and they would be working in one home at a time. Uh, and so that would be through their local communities all across the province. We've got jobs posted from southwestern Ontario to the GTA to the northern and eastern portion. So I think uh, the need will be widespread. Okay. Viesha, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And I just want to say our seniors need us and the time for care is now. So thank you. Thank you very much. We have more on BT coming up after the break.